today's pre-workout meal and uh, supplement is brought to you by High Force Nutrition and by Donna's Restaurant in Boston. So the boss, Chris Cito, told me to have chocolate chip muffin and a whey protein shake. So this is the uh, chocolate covered pretzel from uh, High Force. And I'm going to have three of these potassium nitrate. I'll have four. Wash it down with some cookies. She ain't stealing shit. So, I'll eat this and we'll be ready to roll in a few minutes. Alright, what's up? It's Jose Ram from the Boston Mass. We're training chest today at Greater Boston Fitness. This is my home gym, the number one gym in Boston. I'm gonna kill some chest. Take me a little while to get warmed up. I'm gonna do a couple of real light sets. And then we'll stop moving a little bit of weight. Mikel will be setting world records today. Yeah? Yeah. You got it back. So I'm 12 weeks out from the Olympia right now. So things are starting to change. It's starting to come together. I'm still around 230 pounds in the morning. So I've lost a few pounds. And uh, I'll be getting harder every week. So. As we film this and document it, you'll see it every time. Getting bigger and harder. That's what she said. For those of you who don't know, this little girl I'm training with, my pride and joy, Michaela Marquardo. Yeah, yeah, she's pushing her luck. She don't smart enough. Costing me an arm and a leg, I haven't married her yet. Women are very expensive guys out there. Anyone watching this? Yeah. Really shouldn't talk about women like dealing with heavy weight. This ain't heavy yet. So like every other workout, when we do either, you know, if we're doing shoulders, we'll do side raises, a ton of them to really warm up, or when we do legs, we'll do a ton of leg extension. Today we're doing chest, we'll do a lot of flies before we get into any heavy compound movements. Trying to get as much blood in this area as possible. So I'm nice and warm and protected and pumped before I even start. Alright. The reps between 8 and 12 reps and we'll see how heavy I can go we got ones that go up over 150 but I don't know if I'll go that heavy but...
I had to recruit my boy Chris here. Chris Cameron, no relation to Kirk Cameron, because this little girl can't pick up the 150s. I'm just gonna look cute. I'm gonna have him, uh, she can spot me. Yeah. I'm gonna have him hand one. There we go. Help me get this ass one. Ah, yep. There we go. Good. I always chain as heavy as I can, but I do that to keep everything strong. The joints, tendons, ligaments, and used to moving heavy weight. So I always go up to a heavy set. But now I'm gonna go back down to a more moderate weight and get some better, more squeezing reps. I could probably do the 150s again. I just did like 14 reps. Probably go eight to 10 again, but I don't know that I'll feel it as much. So I'm gonna go down to like 110 and get some really strict, good squeezing reps out of it. And uh, call it a day with the heavy shit. For this exercise anyway. We're gonna get some good, concentrated, strict reps, good form, and isolate the pecs. You know, let's face it, when you go super, super heavy like that last set, you're using your arms, your shoulders, your back, your balls, everything you can to move the thing. Now I can isolate my chest a little better. Some would say, why don't you do every set like that? I'd say because you still need to train heavy to have that dense, dense muscle. And heavy is a relative term. Because this is a moderate weight for me. A lot of people can't even do it. But I can. Flex can. <laughs> Start with a coffee, because one, it's delicious, two, it's, it's uh, caffeine, gets me going, and three, it's warm, hot, you know, helps to warm me up, and well, midway through, I start drinking my Compete, my BCAs, that's like clockwork, every workout is the same, so that's the reason behind it. Once I start losing a little bit of energy and I'm thoroughly warmed up and what of a thermogenic effect I'm gonna get from the coffee is kicked in so now I can start drinking my BCA. But I do sip the coffee as well. That's why I have two drinks if you want to. I don't like 
after grabbing the box. I'll always ask for a spot when I need it. Unless you hear me say something, they don't touch the box. You learn the hard way. I punished her for a week after that. That's my true passion. <laughs> Boxes. Very important yeah. to strap up. Strap up when you go to war. Come on, be strong. Did our flies. We're gonna finish with some dips, and that's it. I use the assisted machine because at this stage of the workout, it's the last exercise, and the muscle's pretty much exhausted. It's just safer. I don't want to risk injury, and it also allows me to focus more on the squeeze rather than lifting my fat ass up each rep. You know. So I like this machine. I do it facing out, so my feet are behind me. So I'm leaning forward and it's more chest. My feet are in front of me, use more tight. If I don't fully extend, and that keeps me from my triceps taking over, keeps all the tension in the chest. We're done. We're gonna go do some cardio. Half hour of easy cardio. Either walk in or Riding a bike, and uh, that'll be it for the day. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Until next time, keep training, keep eating, and keep watching my shit. <laughs>